as toward reducing our dependence on them as well. As a society, we throw out an incredible amount of stuff. What's in this pile that doesn't have to be there? What can be recycled? Actually, most of it. Wood waste makes up the largest percentage of material that could be recycled, followed by, believe it or not, paper and cardboard. Next on the list, organic material. Food. 22% is wood waste. 14% is still paper and cardboard. And then the third one is food waste. About overall, as part of the total composition, is about 13%. Compare that to plastic bags, which take up about 1% of our landfills or plastic water bottles, which is even less than that. It's an issue Metro Vancouver has lagged behind on. There are commercial composting operations across the continent, from the island to PEI, and something that is coming here next year. We need to establish a centralized facility, then start getting member municipalities and our cities and communities interested, which I think they are. And then as we go forward with that, there's also quite a tremendous interest in uh, restaurants, uh, the food production, um, food distribution sector, supermarkets. Politicians love to talk about taxing disposable coffee cups or banning plastic water bottles. We have about 7 million uh, bottles that end up every year in the landfill from uh, water, water bottles. And obviously that's an enormous number of uh, bottles and uh, it's absolutely unnecessary. They might be convenient scapegoats, but according to the industry, most bottles are already reused in BC. Where the real change will come from isn't as easy to see. Mucking out a compost bucket, not quite as friendly an image as tossing a bottle into the old blue bin.